Uh, so, uh, we, um, I am uh, working for Come to Camp, and uh, one of my uh, hobby uh, uh, part of the GeoServer community is take, taking care of the translation of the GeoServer. And so, we are going to uh, go through uh, the translation. Uh, there are two ways uh, to deal with the uh, translation in GeoServer. First, as a GeoServer user, uh, you need sometimes to translate the metadata you broadcast uh, with GeoServer when you have an international audience, for example. And uh, as a GeoServer developer, you also have the task to provide a translation for the administration user interface. So we will see the both cases, you, what you can do with, with GeoServer. So for the content translation, uh, we have uh, the document that is generated by the get capabilities can be translated for uh, a lot of OGC uh, protocols. Uh, you can do it uh, on all the configuration pages of the administration UI with uh, a uh, internationalization checkbox. Uh, and uh, the document can be generated uh, when you provide an accept language request parameter. You can also do some translation in styles, uh, only in SLD, so in GeoCSS uh, or uh, Madbox styles, uh, the language is not supported. Uh, it's not part of OGC standard, it's something specific to uh, GeoServer. Uh, it works for title and abstract sec sections. And they are used in uh, the um, get legend graphic request when you provide a language parameter. Uh, you also have in SLD a language function where you can be used to get uh, the language parameter of the request. And you can be used ever to select the good uh, attribute in your entity to display uh, the things on the map. And uh, you can also use it uh, for a rule filter when you want to change the marker, for example. Uh, for the administration UI, uh, how it works, uh, the text comes from property files with a key value system. Uh, you always have a GeoServer application.properties, which is, uh, contains the default language in English. Um, other languages are described in files with a suffix uh, describing the language in, uh, in uh, ISO code. Uh, you can provide pr partial translation. In this case, you will have the default English uh, language. And also, you have to take care of the encoding of the files. You have to be something like ISO 8859 or uh, something equivalent like uh, US ASCII or Latin one. Uh, you can update the translation ever the, the developer way that you were editing it in your IDE. <coughs> and you provide a PR to uh, update the, the next release. And you can also we use a OSGO web late instance to suggest new translation. Uh, you need to have an OSGO account, and uh, after you have to ask uh, to me to register you in the project. Uh, we use WebLab because a few times ago we used TransFX, but we have to, uh, I have decided to, to move to, to the web late because uh, integration of GitHub uh, was not working correctly. We had to do a lot of uh, manual exporting to uh, first uh, to integrate uh, the SNGs into GitHub, and with the transif effect automatic translation, we had also a lot of changes in the existing translation we didn't want. So now with uh, WebLate, uh, we have a nice GitHub uh, integration. Uh, we can control more of the configuration also, and it, since it's managed by USGO, it's, it's more aligned with the project uh, uh, in all. Thank you.